Safety is you don't feel like the outside pressures of the world are going to tear you apart. For me, safety is, is kind of staying to myself. To feel that I'm not in danger. Safety is I know that I can exist and not be in danger. It's summertime 2020. There's a new pandemic, something called COVID-19. It's hot. Tempe is experiencing a record-breaking number of days over 110 degrees. Regardless of heat and risk, thousands of people are outside, protesting the death of George Floyd and advocating for social justice. The officer-involved deaths of Antonio Arce and Dalvin Hollins bring people to Tempe's city council chambers and to our parks and streets in protest as well. Corey Woods is sworn in that summer as Tempe's first black mayor, and in August, he announces his intention to form the Public Safety Advisory Task Force, a diverse group of people dedicated to improving community safety for everyone. My thought in trying to bring everyone together, and it ended up being 22 people from very different walks of life, was to really encourage a community conversation about not just what was the future of policing going to look like, but what was going to be the future of community safety in the city of Tempe. But frankly, I think that our entire community safety plan and the way that we do everything in the city of Tempe could be a blueprint for cities in Arizona and across the country. Not only were we talking about the issues we were uh, listening to one another and building trust, understanding various perspectives um, from all sides. To see the uh, city propose the Tempe Public Safety uh, Task Force was a welcome gesture. This task force wasn't only focusing on justice for African Americans. It was looking at issues concerning anyone who was part of Tempe's community. That included Latinx people, the LGBTQ community, Asian Americans, Tempe's Jewish, Muslim, and other faith communities, people experiencing homelessness, veterans, those with mental health concerns, people with disabilities, and more. Individuals who are neurodiverse, who have different disabilities, have different needs when it comes to public safety. And having a well-trained and aware uh, public safety community in Tempe is such a relief and makes me so much more hopeful for the type of future that my child can have. I will be honest, we had a lot of diverse opinions at the table, and the fact that we could even develop a plan like this, I think is a big accomplishment. The group met seven times during a four-month period. Each facilitated meeting lasted three hours. Everyone had a chance to share their ideas with the group and to determine which ideas would move forward. If I can just paint a picture, there were those that sympathized and empathized with the police and the police could do no wrong. And there were those that uh, the police felt, felt that the police could do no right. And they wanted to abolish the police. And then there were those of us that said, hey, you know, we've all got to live and exist in this community together. We all deserve to be heard. And we need to be all, we all need to be at the table to develop a plan and a strategy that we can work together and live with. And that was the beginning of the Tempe Public Safety Task Force. And we didn't all 100% agree on every element of it, but we all agreed that there were enough positives that we should move forward with it. And I thought that I could add something to the conversation by being able to bring some of the issues that my students often talked about as what they were feeling and what they were thinking and their experiences. The group did not shy away from hard topics. The death of Antonio Arce was not avoided. The police report of his death was read aloud. Members asked questions about policies and procedures, as well as how future incidents of this kind could be avoided. I think you have a responsibility to be honest with people uh, in the, not just the Public Safety Advisory Task Force, but all of our residents and people who do business in our city or people who travel here. By March 2021, staff developed a report featuring recommendations such as having counselors respond to mental health 911 calls, increased de-escalation training, and more robust recruiting efforts to ensure our police officers are representative of our community. You can't implement every suggestion that comes forward. Uh, the group came to a consensus around a group of suggestions that were discussed over that seven meeting time period, but there were definitely suggestions that did not end up making 
the final report uh, because there just wasn't enough consensus or enough people in the group advocating for those. And I didn't know if it was gonna last. It did last, it did last. And, and those voices remained at the table, some at some point sometimes louder than the other, um, but everybody got a chance to be heard. Having a list of recommendations is one thing, acting on them is another. The city of Tempe launched a dashboard to show progress on several of the task force recommendations. The reason we have a dashboard is to stay connected, to bring the work into the living rooms of our community. It's about them. They need to understand and see the progress. Our community has been kept apprised of the work of the task force and the work of the city in implementing the recommendations from the task force. Innovation is just really part of who we are. Uh, when I look at the work that a lot of our departments are doing on community safety, they were already working together. We have a really good alignment within our city departments. All of the departments uh, have stepped up and are, have taken this task really seriously and believe in what we're trying to do. So yes, I think, I think we're, we're, we're there with the alignment and are looking forward to continuing to implement the results. While there are still several key takeaways from the recommendations, the primary element of the community safety plan fell into pillars, police model and accountability, human and social services, data and transparency, community engagement, workforce culture and wellness. This plan is a work in progress. Its goal is to improve our overall community safety for everyone. No plan is perfect, but we hope our efforts will prevent tragedies, improve trust in the community, and make Tempe a better place. The common thread that you hear from pretty much everyone is, I want to feel safe in my home. I want to feel like my children are safe going to their school. I want to feel safe uh, going down to the park to walk my dog. I want to feel safe walking down the street. And as long as those things are in place, then we have a thriving community that's going to continue to excel moving forward. The overwhelming number of residents and business owners that I come into contact with seven days a week, 365 days a year, talk about just how safe they feel in the city of Tempe.